Hello everybody, back in another video, and today I'll be showing you guys how to actually, we not where's John? I cut out that part though, that's the funny part. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, well, um, either mute your mic or something, because I'm making that, um, how do you share factory video, so, yeah. Okay? You okay. Alright, so, three, two, one. Hi everybody, back in another video, and today I'll be showing you guys how to use Share Factory. So to start, um, if let's say um, this would be mainly about like how to make montages and stuff on Share Factory. So yeah, um, you want to start just by like choosing your theme, like Fortnite, whatever, whatever you're making the montage on. And so yeah, um, let me find the montage I made already. Here it is. Okay, so once you pick the clip you want, I'm just gonna use the one I've already you or already made. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to like okay, let's say this is like one of your full clips. You're gonna find the part of the clip you want by hitting on play. Uh, well, obviously this is only on PlayStation, so you're gonna hit square, go to split clip, and then you're just gonna like let's say you want like this part right here. Like let's say you um hold up right. Right, like let's say you want to come right here, split this because you hit a snipe or something. And then you're going to go to where you want the clip to end. So like let's say you hit two shots or something. You're going to end it like right when you hit this shot basically. So once you end it, you have this little clip right here. And if you want to add like um, oh, like an effect like that, as you see right there, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit, um, hit X and then you're going to hit add filter. And then... You, you can add any of these filters. I believe the one I used right there was wind. And to use, what I do for wind is I hit, uh, you hit square and then you hit edit filter. And then go to filter settings. And then put wind speed all the way to zero. But because I already have, um, but because I already have some of, um, it on there, I'm just going to delete it. Okay, right, yeah, it's already on there. So, yeah, once you do that, yeah, and then let's say th these are the parts you don't want, then you hit square again, split clip, and then delete. Another thing you guys need to know for your montage is to add music. So, you'd hit X, hit add music, choose really any of them. Um, the most recent one I used was this. Well, not just this, but, um,. <laughs> okay, um, don't use that one. Um, where is it this one? No. Yeah, it was this one. I wish they dream remix. This is the one I used in this video you're watching right here. So yeah, you can add the music. If you really want to get into it, you can make it to where it's on beat with your shots. Like, Right when it's like a beat drop or something, you want your shot to hit, you can go into that, but you don't really have to. It's just the music in the background, so yeah. Um, another thing, as you can see, um, let's see. Right there, you can see how I zoomed in. I like zoom, and then I zoom. Like, what you could do for that, which it's pretty good for, like, some montages, but not on everything. You just, like, hold up, I did that kind of fast. You hit square, then hit pan zoom on the far right, and then zoom in. If you want, you can, like, move it, move your zoom. So if you want to, like, zoom in on something else, like, wherever you're, or right when you, where you hit the shot from or something, you could do that and then just, you know, move it where you want it. So then it's going to look something like that, kind of. And if you want the zoom to only be on certain parts, like, just take the zoom off. And then, like, if you want it certain parts, like, let's say you want it, like, right here. Hold up. Um, you hit, um, actually, no. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come here, hit split clip. And then, where you want the zoom to stop, you hit split clip again. And then you're going to hit square on the um, little clip you put. And then zoom in for that clip itself. So then if you only want it for, like, half the clip, then you could do that accordingly. It's up to you. So like, let's say you only want the um, 
like right here if you only want to um, zoom in like for part of this you'd split like right here and then split like right after you hit the shot like, right here and then only put the um well, you and then ah why why is going on all right and then you just click on that and then pan zoom zoom in however much you want really and then it's like that so yeah I mean it's a pretty cool feature if you just want to like zoom in on shots like that and then yeah if you guys have um like an outro or whatever I'd put that in there as well it's up to you I don't really care it's I mean it's like I said it's up to you also if you want to put like um like your voice in the background which you don't like need for music or because you're gonna have music so you probably don't really need it but yeah you just gotta add track to and then wherever you want to start your music you just or not music you're talking speaking whatever you just hit um, record audio and then hit record and then as you can see I'm talking right now so yeah and then whenever you want to whenever you want to stop it just hit X so click X you want to stop it and then So as you can see, it has a little overlay on it. So we'll, whenever they're watching the video, it's gonna sound like this. So yeah, basically it's like just over your music and everything else. And then um, let's say you want to add like a screenshot, or this is mainly for your thumbnails. Let's say you want to add a thumbnail, you go to like, um, where is it? Oh, add screenshot. You click add screenshot, and then if you want. You can pick one from the game itself. Like, let's just use this for example. Um, and then you can move it. Um, like, let's say you want to use it, like, right. Yeah, let's just say you want to use it right here for your thumbnail. Really? Well, if you're making a thumbnail, it doesn't really matter where it is. But then you just hit add overlay. Once you hit add overlay, then you can go to stickers. You can import images from USB, which. I could make another video on that if you guys want me to, but it's going to be kind of confusing because I can't show you exactly. But yeah, you can add text if you want, like write something on the screen and then move it around, make it bigger by hitting R2 or smaller with L2. Rotate it with, um, or actually no, L1 and R1 is how you make it bigger and then L2 and L or R2 is how you spin it. And if you just want to delete it, you go to delete text or delete sticker, depending on what it is. And then let's see what else is a good feature for montages and just things in general. Oh yeah, and then once you get your um, thumbnail set up however you want it with your stickers, you just you hit the option button next to the big button in the center and then hit generate thumbnail. So then that will be your thumbnail, and after you do that, you go back to split clip and then delete it. So yeah, once you can delete it, then that's about it. And if you want, like, let's say something happens, and then, like, let's use this part, for example, where I zoom in. Um, you can, like, use time bender, and then make it, like, really slow. And then from, it's going to look like this. It's going to look really super duper slow. So if you guys want, I mean, for a montage, it might not be used quite as much, but like, let's say you hit a shot from like really far away, kind of like this, it might not be too, too, oh, might not be too bad to use, it's up to you, if you want to delete it, and you should go back to time bender, and then go back to one, and it's normal again, and for some reason, if you guys want it, want it faster, which you can't, this clip's too short, like, let's say you have a longer clip, like, like this, which not really a longer clip. Like, let's say you have a longer, um, yeah, longer clip, then you can make it faster if you want, like by eight, and then it's just gonna be a little bit faster. Probably won't use this very much in a montage, but just for side note, if you're making any other videos, and yeah, that's just about it. Also, if you guys want, you can add a transition 
by hitting X and then add transition. There's Fortnite ones, shows you how long they are. And then there's some that dissolve. I'll show you a couple right here. Um, so you're playing the video, and then after your clip, you dissolve into another one. I mean, I don't tend to use it for much, but if you if it's like, let's say, here, watch. Let me go over here and find in find a video that's a little bit longer, maybe. Oh, she just use this. I don't know if anything happens in here or not, but like, let's say you're just like loading or whatever. And you don't really want to watch this part. Um, okay, this video is not just for montage, it's for just about anything on here. So let's say you want to skip to the part where you get some action. You could just split clip, as I said before, hitting square, and then you go to split clip. And then once you get split clip, then you could just, um, wherever you want the action. And then once you don't, like, once the action's kind of slowed down a little bit, you split it again, and... Right before you get back into another kill or something, you split. Wait, did I just delete? All right, well, right before you get back into something, you can, um, yeah, let me just add something different. Let's add this, I guess. So, like, let's say this happens, and then you're later on in the, um, in that game. You can go here, and then add transition, and then add whatever transition you guys want. So like let's say you're done with the action around here and then you're like, okay, I'm gonna be running running for a long time. Then you can do this. Also, um, this is actually a good representation of the um, glitch. Or it was a good representation. It didn't work at that time. But um, yeah, so if you guys just wanna like all this looting or whatever, you can come here, split, get rid of it, and then, yeah, so, that's about it, um, so, add tracks to, add a layout, um, I don't honestly use this ever, really, because, like, I don't know, there's just not that big of a use to it, layout settings, yeah, I don't, I've never used it, so I don't really know exactly how it works, but yeah. So trim clip, you don't really need if instead of trimming it, you could just delete some stuff. What is that? So yeah, use your left stick, trim it from that side, and then right to trim it from this side. So you hit X to save it, and then, yeah. And if you want to get rid of your layout, then just hit delete layout, confirm. So, yeah, that's going to be about it for this video, guys. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.